on. <sighs> Give me something. What are you looking for? Precedents that would allow Nate Salinger to walk with no jail time. Well, I'm working on that. Uh, what, you got your thugs to, to uh, beat up Inez so she'll confess? You don't want my help? Don't tempt me. When's the hearing? <sighs> it's too late. If I don't come up with a miracle, Nate Salinger is going to Statesville. I don't, I don't even want to think about what that'll do to him, Todd. Or to our daughter. Well, maybe the judge will go easy on him. And he was a piece of scum. Whoever killed him did the world a favor. That's not how the court will see it. Yeah, don't be so sure. Did you buy a judge, Todd? Good uh, morning. morning. <laughs> I have breakfast and hugs. Todd, thank you so much for what you did for Nate. What did Todd do for Nate? It's genius, isn't it? Not so much. But I have a strategy. If the judge feels some heat to go easy on the kid, that's got to be good, right? Unless it backfires. You don't think it will, do you? Probably not. Don't worry, sweetheart, okay? Don't worry. Nate's in jail, and they won't let me see him. You went to see him? Well, yeah, I need to talk to him. I don't... I don't understand why he confessed. There's no way that he killed his father, and it was over. The judge was about to set him free. Why he would even think? You know. You know what's going on? Tell me. We don't know any more of the facts than you do. But you think you know why Nate confessed? Oh, you can't tell me because he's a client. Okay, what if I guess? If I guess right, then technically you wouldn't be saying anything to me. Mika, stop, okay? The one thing I can tell you is that I will do everything in my power to help Nate. Is that gonna be enough? Hey, listen, your mom nearly had the judge dismiss the whole thing. She'll pull this out. Yeah, you're right, she will. You are the best. Come here. Hey, don't forget breakfast, okay? Oh, I don't want to eat before Oh, work. I made you a protein shake. You need all the strength oh, you can get. Okay. okay, I'll be ready in about 15 minutes, okay? Yeah. I gotta catch Nora before the hearing. You're not gonna beg for mercy, are you? I have a backup plan. No, send Nate to a country with no extradition? Don't drink that. I'm gonna convince everyone in that courtroom that Nate is innocent and covering for his mother. You know, what if you're wrong? I thought you didn't want to prosecute. What's her name? I don't. But my first duty is to my client and to our daughter. Take no prisoners, huh? Well, that's how you win. Except I don't, I don't know how Daniela's going to feel when I <laughs> accuse her boyfriend's mother of killing his father. Dad! Hey, where's Mom? Uh, she has something to do with the courthouse. Oh, I gotta Can get I, there, too. No, 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 I don't. I want to talk to you. Can I wait till later? No, I can't. I want to talk to you about your boyfriend. You were... Tay. Yeah. Glad I caught up with you. I couldn't sleep at all last night. <laughs> Neither could I. Nate can't go to jail. It's wrong. I agree with you. So wh what... What kind of sentence do you think you could get? I mean, do you have any idea what the judge will do? That depends on you, Inez. I can see that you're worried about Nate. And not just because he's in the slammer. You're wondering, aren't you? You know about what? Well, he confessed. No. Uh, don't tell me you didn't think it. Nate's not a killer. Well, no, 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 he's not. That's right. That's right. Well, that's what I wanted to tell you. I mean, I, you're going to find that anyway, but I just thought I'd tell you now. No, he didn't kill Eddie Ford. Danny. Are you confessing? Well, do you think I should? Uh, I mean, you have to tell the judge. I mean, you can't let Nate go to jail if you're the one who killed Eddie. Do you really think I'd just kill a guy just like that? I don't know. I mean, your cufflink was found by his body. You never explained to me how that happened. Uh, that's true. Yeah, and now you're telling me that you know that Nate isn't the killer. What should I think? Well, no, I just, I was just trying to say that I don't think Nate's capable of murder. Oh. Yeah. 
Even if I am. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. I didn't... I'm... I misunderstood. Right. Oh, my God, I have to get to the courthouse. <laughs> okay. See ya. Hey, thanks again for the headline. I know it's gonna help. I hope so. Landview PD, Detective Price speaking. Hi, it's Todd Manning. I have an emergency. Of course I want to do what's right for my son. Then do it. What exactly do you mean by that? I have to go check on Nate. I need to talk to you. I have to prepare. Okay, you have the wrong guy. Your client confessed. Nate's covering for his mother. I think Inez did it. We have an eyewitness that places Nate at the scene. Yeah, he was at the scene. You were at the scene. James was at the scene. Oh, God, you was at the scene. That you again, get my hey, point. The murder weapon was found in Nate's apartment. No, in Nate's mother's apartment. She could just as easily have left the gun there as Nate. No, she couldn't have. Why else would the kid jump up and confess when the judge is about to let him okay, walk? Okay, it's not Inez. Why? How do you know that? She has an alibi. Did you check out the alibi? I don't have to. What, you're gonna take her word for it? Look, I would love to nail Inez for this, but I'm sure. How can you be sure, Nora? Because apparently, while Eddie Ford was getting shot, Inez was having sex. Oh. With my husband. <sighs> Where's the body? What body? You said there was a murder. Well, there was, Eddie Ford, remember? Come on, I needed you over here. Worked, didn't it? Look, next time, dial 911. And they'll charge you for filing a false alarm. Well, look, there was a crime committed in this room. You guys dropped the ball. Somebody stole my cufflink out of the box and planted it near Eddie Ford's body. Now you need to dust for prints and find out who it was. Look, Nate Salinger already confessed. There is no more investigation. Well, yeah, there is. There's a new investigation. Who framed Todd Manning? Framed? You can only be framed if you're charged for a crime. No, no, I'm not talking about the cops. I need you to help me clear my name for my daughter's sake. Hey. Hey. I got your note. Wow. Yeah. Didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> wow. I figured there was something going on when you hit Inez across the face, and... Mm. I have to admit, I overheard part of what you said to oh, her. Oh, God, everybody did. Honey, I... I can't believe Bo would do that to you. You guys were meant to be together. Yeah, I guess not so much anymore, huh? But thanks. Anyway, Inez could be the shooter, all right? No, think about it, Nora. Oh, come on, Think hey, about Nora. it. She could have left Bo sleeping. I know, I'm sorry, that's not a picture you want in your head, but it works with the timetable of the murder. I know it throws a wrench in your case. Oh, no, please, believe me. There's nothing that I'd like to... I believe that Inez would be guilty as hell, and I even have a motive. Yeah, Eddie was an abusive creep. Oh, no, she used Eddie to engineer the breakup of my marriage, and then, and, and then I think she was probably behind my kidnapping. Your kidnapping, really? Yes, and then she could have shot Eddie to shut him up. Okay, I'll go with you on that. No, you won't, and neither can I. <laughs> Please, as much as I like that sort of revenge fantasy, that's... I have a suspect who has confessed to the crime. A witness, murder weapon, it's too late. Sweetheart, do you really want to send an innocent boy to jail? Get your client to recant, and I won't object. You don't think I've been trying to get him to recant? The kid won't budge. Well, then there's nothing that I can do. Oh, God. Listen, unless something drastic happens or changes in the next few minutes, Nate Salinger is going to be sentenced today. Nate, it is not too late to take back your confession, okay? I can't. Listen to me. I talked to the DA. Neither one of us want to send an innocent boy to jail. We can talk to the judge. We can figure this out, all hey, right? Listen to her, okay? All rise. This court is now in session. Be seated. We're on the record for sentencing in the matter of the Commonwealth versus Nathaniel Q. Salinger. 
defendant, having pled guilty to the charge of criminal homicide, will allocute to the crime and receive sentence. Does the Commonwealth wish to be heard prior to sentencing? Ms. Buchanan. Yes, Your Honor. Would you like to call anyone to make an impact statement on behalf of the victim, Edward Ford? Oh, no, Your Honor. Does the defense wish to offer any evidence that could mitigate the sentence? Yes, Your Honor. The defense would like to call Nate Salinger's mother. Inez Salinger. What? Yeah, it's Detective Price. We received the results from the prints we took in your room. Yeah? All right, well, we found your prints and your wife's prints all over the dresser. But we also identified a partial on a cuffling box that didn't match you or your wife. Well, whose is it? Miss Salinger, do you love your son? Of course, more than anything in the world. Then why are you letting him take the fall for a murder you committed? 